What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the custom firmware for the PlayStation 3 on version 4.82. So I'll go ahead and leave the links in the description. Once you go ahead and get the files, you will go ahead and see step one, step two, and step three. Now we will begin with verifying the version of the PlayStation 3. Now this work on PlayStation 3 on fat version and slim version. Now the super slim will not work, but a good source will be PlayStation hacks. Also, I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description. It'll tell you what support models and the slim models for 2000. Now we will use the, so we're going to do the version check dot pup 3.56 lower only so you're gonna download that file and you're gonna see that there's gonna be a ps3 update dot pup now this will be transferred to a usb so we're just going to create a folder and we're gonna call it ps3 okay so now within that folder we're going to create another folder called update now make sure everything is in capital letters, it's really important. And then we're just going to drag that PUP file. Okay, so that's what we need. Once we have that folder ready, we are going to insert a USB. And then we're going to format that USB. Okay, you guys can see I already had one with the files, but let's just go ahead and recreate this. So we're going to do format, leave it on file system FAT32, and then we just click start. And then it's going to let us know that the format is complete. So we close that. Now that we have our USB formatted, we're going to transfer that PS3 file. Just make sure it says PS3 update, and then we just drop in that PUP file. Okay, so we're ready to start with the version check so now it's really important for you guys to insert the USB in the right hand side of the PlayStation 3 you guys will see that okay so just make sure it's inserted so now we move on to the PlayStation 3 so we're gonna do update via storage media you're gonna see version check by Elf Caro USB device so we click OK okay so now it's gonna tell us the update version 3.50 so this PlayStation Slim is compatible which is pretty cool it's amazing now the 3k and the 4k PlayStation Slims and Super Slims are not able to have custom firmware installed so now this system in order so that the custom firmware would work we would need to update it to 4.82 so as you guys can see, I'm going to update this system firmware. We'll just give it a moment so that the system can update. Now approximately if you do the whole process, it might take maybe less than 30 minutes. Okay, so now we have the updated version. So we go to the number one folder. You're going to see the Nord dumper. and then we're going to extract those files so I just click rename and then I just created a new folder so that I don't have to get confused on what type of folder it is and then we're just going to drag all those files in the new folder we created okay so that's all we need we can close this WinRAR or zip file now you guys will see that we have the mini web.exe we launch it and we allow the access okay so that will be the connection for our browser and you guys will see we have to create a folder called ht docs so this will be you guys will see in a moment and we're going to drag the index html and the .js file within it make sure you create that htdocs folder make sure you have 
a wired connection or a strong Wi-Fi connection. Now it, the exploit should have worked like within five minutes. And really important that you have it under FAT32, your USB thumb drive, and on the right hand side of the PlayStation 3. Make sure you do that right hand side and format it as FAT32. So now you will see I launched my browser for the computer. Make sure you type the IP address it gives you 192.168.17 and then the port 8000. You will get an alert. I know that it might look some kind of confusing, but you will get that alert. It will say that you don't have a PlayStation 3 system or something like that. Just click OK. Okay, that's all we need to do in here. So we move on to the PlayStation 3. I'm sorry I'm going pretty fast, but just wanted to condense the video as always. So make sure you connect your USB thumb drive to the PlayStation 3. Make sure it's visible, so check on their pictures. Make sure it's there. And then we launch the web browser for the PlayStation 3. Now, if you press triangle, make sure you put it on a blank page. So you can go to home page and put it as blank. I know it didn't show it here, but it shouldn't be that hard. Now make sure that we're going to delete the cookies and the cache. So make sure you delete that just in case. Make sure you delete if you want to search history as well. Delete all that. I mean, we don't want that um, in our web browser for the PlayStation 3. And make sure you have the blank page. So now we go to the address entry. And then remember that IP address 192.168.0.17 and the port 8000. We input it in the PlayStation 3. You guys can see that it's in my PC as well. And then we click enter. It'll give us an alert. Congratulations, we detected PlayStation 3 running firmware 4.82. Make sure you're running 4.82 and then we're going to click thumb full 16 MB NOR to the USB thumb drive. So now it's going to say success. We're not done yet. Make sure to wait a few minutes until the console beeps. We need to wait for that. Do not turn off the PlayStation 3 or anything. Just let it be. So right now we're just gonna see how my PC attests success. You guys heard that beeping sound? Right now the PlayStation 3 is going to turn off. You guys can see I have my USB drive on the right hand side. And now the PlayStation 3 is restarting. Okay, so we're just going to click OK. So we're just one step ahead of the game right now. Just be patient. So we click OK and we let it be. We just let it restart. OK, so now we remove the USB thumb drive out of the PlayStation 3. And we're going to connect it to the PC so that we can get our dump file. And then we're going to save that dump file and somewhere safe so you can keep it as a backup just in case so we're going to do the flash hex so we get our USB drive and we're going to format it again since we already saved that dump.hex file we click format and then we click start then we just give it a moment Okay, so the format has been completed. So now we're going to go to the second step or the number two folder. And then you're gonna see a NAND writer release. So we're going to extract those files. We do the same thing, rename, and then we copy that information. We create a new folder and we paste. Now we're going to copy all those files within that new folder. Okay, so we're done with copying those files or extracting the zip 
Okay, so now we run again the mini web.exe. We allow the access. I would recommend it to run each individually. So close the old one and then open this one. Then we go to our web page or browser on the computer. And then we're going to put that IP address is 192.168.0.17 and then the colon and then 8000. If it doesn't work, close it and retry it. So the reason it wouldn't work is because we forgot to create that folder which is the HT docs so that the miniweb.exe knows where to find the files so since we have the flash hex already opened then we're going to go ahead and transfer that information to our already formatted USB drive now the HT docs we're going to copy the NOR which your slim would be a NOR file system or you guys can see the NOR the writer is supported for 2000 the NAND would be for PlayStation 3's that are the fat version so we copy those files and we transfer them Okay, so now we're ready. The 192.168.0.17 port 8000 and we select the HTML. We're going to get that alert. We click OK. So now we connect the USB drive to the PlayStation 3. So make sure once again that it's on the right hand side, your USB in the PlayStation 3 and then we're going to launch the internet browser and we're going to do the same IP address remember to delete the cookies okay we're going to delete the cache and then we're going to go to that IP address okay so now we're going to select the nor4a2.html we're gonna get that alert which is pretty cool and then we're going to select the right to NOR flash memory again make sure that you're on 4.82 official firmware we're gonna see the success and we're gonna wait a few minutes as well until our console shuts down so some reminders in there then I use it on 3000 or 4000 models or it will be a brick you guys can see my USB drive is on the right hand side so we have the sound that is going to shut down by itself. So technically we're done with writing and dumping the information. So now what we just have to do is install the custom firmware. I'll go ahead and leave that link as well in the description. I use the Ferox Cobra for 4.82. PlayStation 3 it's gonna give us the same error message as it did previously just let it be okay so now we're ready to install the custom firmware so again we insert the USB to the PC and then we're going to format it and we click start just give it a moment okay we have our format that USB and then we're gonna look for the custom firmware now on PlayStation hacks there are various ones I chose this one you can use the same one or you can read on the custom firmware the same process is for installation that we're going to see in a moment so I downloaded the file okay so we select our USB and here we're going to create a folder called PS3 as the tutorial says on PlayStation hacks so we create the folder PS3 
and within that folder we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it update make sure everything is in capital letters and then we're going to get our downloaded custom firmware and rename it to ps3 updat.pup so then we get the file and we drag it into the update folder and after we drag it into the update folder we're going to rename it it's really important you put it as ps3.updat.pup Okay, so that's all we need to do. Now, what we just have to do is install the custom firmware on the PlayStation 3. Remember, really important that you put it on the right hand side. And then we're going to go ahead and, and then we're going to go to settings and then system update. So, right now, I already inserted my USB into the PlayStation 3. And I'm going to launch so that we can detect it. So make sure the USB is detected by the PlayStation 3. So you can go to video or pictures and then you can see if the USB is in there. And make sure it's on the right hand side. You guys can see that my PlayStation 3 has detected it. So now we're going to go to settings and then system update and we're going to do by storage media and then we're going to select the custom firmware and then it's going to restart the system and then we click OK. It's going to take a moment maybe a minute or two system is going to restart. Okay so now we're going to see the cool logo Cobra Ferox for the PlayStation 3 firmware 4.82 the latest firmware for the PlayStation 3 so now there we have our information packet manager so now we haven't enabled this because if we don't have no PS3 games package manager when you download content it's going to tell us the PS3 storage system package directory we can delete the package files so it's pretty cool I'm gonna show you guys how to install emulators that's the next video it's already in the works after that I'll show you guys how to install PlayStation 2 games so guys if it helped remember to hit like subscribe share with your friends comment as always gamer rebirth out